no other racial group has been a slave on American soil. Uh, it's nice to say other people were down and they got up. They were not slaves on American soil. The other thing is that the Negro has had high visibility. And because of the prejudices existing in this country, his color has been against him. It's been against him, uh, and they've used this to keep him from moving up. In the final analysis, when you say to a man that you are in this position because of your race or because of your color, you say to that man that he can never get out of it. Other racial groups have been able maybe to change the accent or change the names, but the Negro can't. I think the biggest problem now is that we got our gains over the last 12 years at bargain rates, so to speak. It uh, didn't cost the nation anything. In fact, it helped the economic side of the nation to integrate lunch counters and public accommodations. It didn't cost the nation anything uh, to get uh, the right to vote established. And now we are confronting issues that cannot be solved without costing the nation billions of dollars. Now, I think this is where we are getting our greatest resistance. They may put it on many other things, but we can't get rid of slums and poverty without it costing the nation.